So let's learn our vehicle. Here are some interesting reports. Our brain stores data that we accumulate each day from both emotional and intellectual influence. According to several different studies, the pathways for communication process in our brain are originally laid down by the time we are three years old. <laughs> Remember how you said you would never sound like your parents? Then one day you hear their words, their tone of voice, and recognize their body language and what you say and do, and it frightens you. We all have perfect memory, however, we do not have perfect access to that memory. Our brain responds to situations even if we do not consciously know why. We build new pathways as we gain more insight. Understanding these things, we better understand ourselves. To be effective interpersonal communicators, we must first be effective intrapersonal communicators, internal communicators. We need to comprehend why we respond and react the way we do. We need to take ownership of our behavior and, if necessary, change it. Intrapersonal communication. The brain is a complicated gathering of all the information and influences up to the moment. Those influences can be buried deep in our subconscious. At times, we need the help of a professional to help us understand our reactions. Sometimes we can look into past experiences and work it out ourselves. Since I am not a mental mechanic, but merely lubricant, all I can tell you is to spend time with yourself to recognize what your self-talk is doing to the search engine in your brain. Listen to the way you talk to yourself. Do you build yourself up or put yourself down? To be effective, this engine, your brain, should be running smoothly before you enter into communication traffic. If you grease the engine with clean and fresh lubricant, it will obviously run much smoother than if you tried to run it with clogged, used, contaminated oil. Speaking from experience, I used to view the world quite negatively. My oil was so clogged that I thought everything was wrong in my life. It was with the help of family, friends, and some excellent educators that I was able to see that I was choosing to drive my vehicle with clogged valves. They were patient in helping me change my filters and relubricate my own thinking until I started seeing that there were positive things happening in my life. Once I started seeing positives, entirely new routes were opened up to me, and suddenly the roads were open to better communication and closer interpersonal relationships. I also saw the need to check my engine quite often to see that my perspective was still running correctly. It's easy to slip back into old ways of negative thinking because those paths have already been forged in my brain. It's not a change that came overnight, but rather one that took time. I began by keeping a journal of only the positive things in my life. This is an excellent method of changing the oil in your engine. My first entry was, at least I didn't get hit by a car today. As the weeks passed, I was able to reroute my thinking to create new patterns and to see numerous positive aspects to life. Changing your pattern of thinking is like going on a diet. It takes time to see the results.